is probably more than I can really explain uh, in terms of emotional, uh, in terms of just seeing people that you grew up with coming back to Everett High School yeah. where I roamed these hallways <laughs> and <laughs> got a good education, but also, you know, was able to win the state championship here. And then um, when you think about just the people who had an impact in my life, I get to see all of Coach George Fox is here, Dr. Tucker, uh, exactly. you know, all these great men who also had a hand in shaping Irvin Johnson. And so uh, I think that's what's great. And, and the fact that my family get a chance to still see me, you know, come back and be a part of, of Lansing and, and, and also invest in these young kids and in these uh, incredible uh, young people who have a chance to go on to do something great, something great in that, with their life if they concentrate on their education. Left side, they'll try to work it into Johnson. Johnson's got it. Johnson will drive, he'll stop, he'll shoot and score. He can do it all. Go ahead, look awful easy. <laughs> Working the ball around inside, it's Jamie Huffman, feeds outside, and a beautiful pass over to Paul Dawson from Irvin Johnson. That's Irvin Magic Johnson. Something that really stands out to me when I talk about, you know, talk to people who knew you growing up mm -hmm. and grew up, you know, playing in high school ball, they always talked about your worth ethic. Mm -hmm. You know, when you when you were playing ball here at, at Lansing Everett, I mean, you spent hours in the gym. It's something of legend. Mm -hmm. Do you feel as though, looking at, you know, kids today, mm -hmm. do you feel as though work ethic is, is sort of dwindling? Because I've, I've heard that echoed by many coaches throughout mm -hmm. this area. Yeah, I think the, ch the difference is, is that I think, um, Cell phones and electronics have, so, social media, everything has changed the player. Because back then, all we wanted to do was to hoop and play basketball and work on our game. We didn't have all those other distractions. So we really, I just put the time in being the best player I could. I went across town. If the games were on the west side, I would go on the west side. If they were on the south side, I would go to the south side. If they were on the east side, I'd go on the east side. I went wherever the games were, and I played all day. Today, you don't get them playing all day. They may play for an hour or two, and then they got other things to do. And that really bothers me on that side of it, because you got to have great love and passion for what you do if you're going to be great. So true. And so uh, the part of my DNA was my work ethic. And that's what made me magic. Just talk about why you're here, what you're doing with the other cafeteria. Well, it's, it's what we're trying to do is we try to come in and give the students of the Lansing School District fresh food, healthy food, but also variety of foods. And that's what they're really happy about. The fact that they have five, six, seven different choices for lunch. But to get the feedback from the students at Pat Gill and the students here at Everett, and they're all happy, makes me feel good. Because I, I tell you what, it was so much fresher. <laughs> was it? A lot of pressure on you? Yeah, yeah. I, like, I wanted the deal, but also pressure came with the deal because, you know, I'm from here. Yeah, yeah. We got to perform well. Expectation, Expectations, baby. Expectations were high. <laughs>